Hey, what's going on, Jigsaw fam? Welcome back to the channel. Like many people, I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart Tour, which just came out actually last week. And conveniently, I was actually starting this thing called the iPhone SE Challenge for my school. I'm part of this club called the Montclarian, and basically I write a lot of articles, uh, things related to gaming and tech, that's at least what I want to do. And so I came up with the idea, uh, I wanted to use an iPhone SE for a week, and it conveniently, I started using this when Mario Kart Tour came out. Now, normally I actually use a Galaxy S10 as my daily phone. However, you know, I started using this just because for the challenge and also my iPhone 7 Plus, which was my previous phone before the S10, uh, just because iOS 13 also rolled out around the same week as well. So I wanted to just use my iPhones for like the good week or two and experience iOS 13 and uh, the dark mode and the swiping features. So now that it's over, I'm finally back with my S10 and I wanted to actually make this video regarding Mario Kart Tour specifically because, well, I've been playing a lot of it, been addicted with it. And uh, I just wanna say that Mario Kart Tour, I think is perfect on the iPhone SE. So a little backstory on the iPhone SE. I originally wanted to just get it as a part of my collection and my first ever smartphone was actually the iPhone 5 back in 2012 or 2013 and I actually cracked it so I don't really have like a genuine iPhone 5 you know in that body in like pretty good condition. So I decided I wanted to like get another one but since the 5 is kind of like really old and doesn't even support iOS 13, uh, I decided to get an SE because I was watching a lot of tech tubers such as Jonathan Morrison, Austin Evans, people like that, and they were saying how iOS 13 is going to be coming on the iPhone SE, and I thought this was the perfect idea or perfect uh, time to actually get the SE itself because it still gets supported by Apple and it has the timeless boxy design I really love and I always wanted a silver version so I opted for the silver version on eBay for roughly about $88. You guys can actually get this uh, iPhone real cheap now just because there's so many things out there and then a lot of people are not liking smaller phones and well here we are having a really cheap device I can add to my collection and like I said I've been using for a week now a little, just the TLDR it's been great the battery isn't the best however it is usable you can play games uh, you can last you roughly the whole day with 94% capacity at least with this phone so I didn't really have a problem with that and like I said with Mario Kart Tour it's been completely amazing the number one factor is pretty much the size. Yeah, the screen size, the body size, overall, it just makes the experience better. Uh, just because with a smaller screen, you can actually like drift easier, in my opinion. Like I find that reachability is a lot easier if it's a smaller screen. This is only four inches. And when I was drifting, I felt like I was able to uh, a mini turbo boost into like the third level with no ease as a, a compared to my iPhone 7 Plus actually which is the biggest one just because it's the widest um, I had a harder time and I was like miss inputting a lot so that's like one plus about the iPhone SE freaking drifting is amazing like I had no problem whatsoever and the fact that the screen size is only four inches I'm able to reach basically all corners of this phone like my hand size is pretty average about like what like a seven and a half inch in width or whatever it is and so I was able to reach every corner not like I didn't really need it but the fact that I'm able to just uh, swipe left and right whenever I feel like it and uh, being able to drift as I mentioned is a lot easier touching the top of the screen where I wanted to use that you know that item ticket is a lot easier because I could reach it and while yes you actually do have more screen real estate on the uh, uh, iPhone 7 Plus as well as the S10 honestly it doesn't really like seem to be that different sure everything is a little compact but I think that's better because Mario Kart Tour is actually geared to playing with only one hand anyway so like when you're looking at this at portrait mode I uh, like for at least for me my eyes want to just like look at things like narrower uh, also it's not an Asian joke or anything but uh yeah narrower because uh it's all like like this, like it's in the hot dog, or is it hamburger? I, I don't know, but like whatever, it, it's like up and down, it's vertical, and so I do like to see things more compact while playing like a game like this. So that's also an additional plus. Also in terms of the graphics quality, yeah, I do see that the S10 and the iPhone 7 Plus is slightly crisper, but honestly, I don't really see much of a difference, especially in low consumption mode. The S10 actually sucks in that mode, just because it like, 
makes the uh, quality like way worse when you're trying to save battery. So it looks like it's like in 240p or something. I don't know. I'm going to have like a B-roll footage on that. You get to see a little bit. You can see the jagged lines a little bit more. It's not as uh, clear and crisp as I mentioned before. So you honestly would have to play this without having that feature on. Whereas, you know, the 7 Plus and the SE, it doesn't really like deteriorate the quality that much. And uh, honestly, it actually looks pretty much the same when you're playing in that mode and uh, the 7 plus yeah while while it does look really good like I said it's too wide honestly and I find myself messing up more doing this with one hand is a little difficult so again another plus for the SE is the fact that it doesn't really sacrifice screen quality just because it's small and, and also like like I said it's small to the point where the quality won't look blurry or anything just because the pixels are closer together so I, I just find it like viewable it's viewable it's clean maybe the colors are a little off compared to these two other devices but other than that it is great to be playing on this because the size of the screen itself reachability as well as the quality in general like seeing all the characters move left and right it, it's not bad it's clearly still usable in 2019 and lastly i want to talk about weight dude the iphone se weighs about a quarter of a pound which is roughly 113 grams and compared to let's say the iphone 7 plus which is the heaviest this is like around 188 grams so yeah if you're gonna be playing this for like an extensive amount of time maybe for like about an hour ish this will definitely feel better playing than on this device and even this the s10 plus or not F10 plus the s10 i guess the s10 plus too just because the s10 plus would be a little bit heavier but uh yeah this one is around like what 150 something grams so when you want to play for a longer period of time this will be better on your hands just because it's the lightest out of the bunch i remember playing for roughly an hour and uh, this did not feel like I was like, it didn't feel like I was holding on this whatsoever. It felt like a piece of paper I was touching just because I didn't feel that I was really holding onto something. It felt super light. So that's honestly pretty good when you're wanting to play this game for, for a while. It, it's not gonna hurt your hands. It's not gonna feel too heavy whatsoever. I know for a fact the iPhone 10 is ridiculously heavy. So that would probably be an issue for some people. And yes, I did say one hour. This phone can actually manage to like go through an hour of playing Mario Kart Tour. Uh, this, like I mentioned before, is 94% capacity. And uh, within an hour, I think I dropped around 20% of battery, which isn't too crazy. And a lot of people won't be playing this for that long. Like if you do end up playing this for like a couple of hours or even more, I expect you guys to be at home, right? Like like using a charger. So it defeats the purpose of this being like actually portably when you're at school, during lunch break, whatsoever at work. I'm, I'm expecting you to play this like for your leisure time when you're not doing anything, when you're like eating or something. So yeah, I would expect you guys to play this for roughly 30 minutes to an hour, maybe two if you're really that bored and have a big time between classes but overall this can last you for quite a while i would expect at least maybe two three hours without you going into like 20 percent where it's like you gotta so save battery blah, blah, blah. but uh yeah overall the battery isn't really a big issue when you think about how this game is only targeted for people you know for the casual audience sure microtransactions can make you stay there longer but mostly you're going to be playing mario kart 8 deluxe mario kart wii i'm pretty sure for longer periods of time compared to Mario Kart Tour. So guys, to conclude today's video, Mario Kart Tour is surprisingly perfect on the iPhone SE. Its screen size, body size, as well as weight makes it great for a game like this. I even actually, I don't know, I don't understand. Like, it's so weird how I just picked this up the same exact week and I thought to myself, wow, this is really comfortable. This is fantastic on such a small device. And I thought to myself, you know, let me try this on my 7 Plus, my S10, and you know, they were still pretty good. But just the fact that it's so compact, it's so comfortable because of its weight and everything, it just, it makes it super enjoyable. And I don't even know how many people own an SE now because I see so many people with iPhone 10s, Galaxy 9s and 10s. So yeah, it's, it's pretty unique to see that an iPhone SE can handle a game like this. It's still being supported like Apple. It just goes to show that the iPhone SE is still a beast for its size. So uh, yeah, 
yeah, if you guys thought this video was super enjoyable and informative, be sure to drop a like, subscribe for more videos like these. I hope to do more vlog style uh, videos in the future. I haven't done this in a while, so it was I was a little rusty in the beginning, but I really got into it. So uh, yeah, this is basically what's been happening with school. I've been doing stuff in regards to like club activities, so doing more articles. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be doing the iPhone SE article for school and uh, with schoolwork as well. Um, I don't know how often I'll be uploading, but I'm trying to upload at least once a week and possibly a stream here and there every uh, two or weeks or three weeks in the month so we'll see how it goes but i'm glad you guys are watching this video today it means a lot if you did uh actually watch it the, all the way through so yeah i just want to thank you guys so much for all the support we are now at 7.84k subs as i'm uh, recording this video so hopefully we can end it off with 10k by december that is my end goal honestly but if not oh well we're getting there <laughs> so like i said thank you guys so much for watching i've been jigsawflex signing out for now and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out